Hi, this is Craig Colvin from Craig Colvin Photography. Uh, this is a redo of my intro to day two of my uh, pond and underwater photography uh, behind the scenes. I accidentally deleted the intro I had recorded at 8.30 a.m. and uh, it's now 11.30 p.m. so I'm going to redo it. Uh, basically, if you missed yesterday uh, behind the scenes, it was talking about pre-production. You can go see that at Craig Colvin Photography uh, on Facebook or on YouTube. So day two is all about setting up the pond, uh, adding the scrim to it, using the sump pumps to pump water out of the hot tub into the pond, and then I'm also going to show uh, setting up the back backdrop in the pool, the black backdrop, and uh, some a little bit of footage from uh, me actually shooting underwater uh, with the model today. So hope you enjoy. All right, so here's the pond, and I've set up the white scrim. Um, right now the tree is shining on it, but uh, as soon as the shoot happens, it should be in full sun. And you can see that the pond is filling, and that water is coming from the, uh, from the hot tub. So we're going to get a nice, even white reflection on the uh, surface of the water. That's what the, the scrim here is doing. And then I have another sump pump here to send water back to the uh, back to the uh, hot tub. Once, uh, just to keep it the water recirculating and keeping it warm. So we just now have to wait for it to fill. Uh, it should take about a takes about an hour, and uh, we'll see how it does. So here's the hot tub and the sump pump down in there that's uh, pumping water into the pond. One of the uh, concerns I had about this shoot, actually I have a lot of concerns about this shoot, but one of them was uh, I don't know how many gallons the hot tub is compared to the 500 gallons of the pond and whether I'm going to completely drain the hot tub or not. Now I can refill it from the pool, but the water uh, may take a little while to get warm enough. So that's, uh, well, we'll just have to watch and uh, watch and see. So now while the... Um, pond is filling. I'm ready to start working on uh, props for the pool and I'm going to put a black backdrop right across the uh, back of the pool area right here uh, underneath the diving board. Um, I am plan to have the model be about about here. I don't know if you can see the drain down there but that's a, be about where the model will be and then I'll be back uh, over this way somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to work on the black backdrop right now and get that all set up. Here is my long 16 foot board which I talked about last night that has the lights on it and some hooks to hang things from and it is going to stretch across right where the drain is right across the pool. Uh, that's exactly 16, well it's 15 feet. So I have a little bit of overhang on each side. So that uh, should, should work great. So when I'm hanging the black backdrop in the pool uh, one of the concerns is the bottom is going to billow up. So I went and got these uh, fishing weights. Uh, these are 8 ounce fishing weights, so half pound. And then I attached a binder clip to them. So I will be able to just to clip these right to the bottom of the, uh, the black backdrop and hopefully it will keep it weighted down. <laughs> 